Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the brand new Grok 3 AI image editor by X, formerly known as Twitter. So we are gonna be editing this particular image and we're gonna be transforming it into something like this. And what you're gonna find out is that currently, out of all the AI tools that we have at our disposal, Grok might be the only one that allows you to edit this by writing prompts. Let me show you why. So before we start with Grok, let's first of all go over to another AI image editor which is creating a lot of noise these days which is the Google Gemini 2 AI image editor which I've shown a lot in my previous videos and this has been very impressive but let me show you something that can happen when you try to edit portraits inside this. So let's upload that same image here. Right, so our image is uploaded and if I just type in a prompt like change the background color to pink and let's just copy this because this will come in handy later on. So you can see I've just written a normal harmless prompt like this but just see if I run this it may or may not produce the image that we want because what happens in portraits as you can see if I just hover over this is that it's, uh, it's telling me content blocked, work in progress, content not permitted. So what I've seen often and one of the criticisms that Gemini has got since it has been launched a few weeks back is that when it comes to portraits, you just don't know whether the prompt is going to work or not because there, there are going to be false positives like this where it was a harmless prompt, but because it involves a person, Google is very, very strict about it. In fact, even if on the settings here, if I just go... Uh, down here, you can see uh, this thing called a safety settings. If I just edit this, you can see that both these settings, harassment and hate, has been set to off. So we are actually not even using settings which are actually supposed to be slightly restrictive. We have completely turned them off. Despite that, it is not producing the result. So then what is our next option? The next option then is that you have to rely on some free AI apps. For example, one of them which can, let's say, change the background color is AI Ease, which is something I've shown before in my videos. Also, this is a decent free app. It can do some things, but the overall quality is not going to be good. Let me just show you a quick example of this. So we are on this uh, app and we are on the free background changer. So let's just quickly hit this and... Uh, it's going to take us to the interface. Let's upload this very image again. All right, so our image is here. And then we can, let's say we wanted something like a pink background here. We can select any of these different backgrounds. And let's say we select this. And if I just download this image, you're going to see that it doesn't really look good. So if I open up this downloaded image, and if I really zoom into it, you're going to see that it just around the edges, it does a very poor job, especially around the hair strands. So even these free AI apps you really can't use. The next option, of course, is to go for something like Photoshop AI, but there we've seen that if you try to do this around the edges, wherever you're running generative fill, it can produce a lot of distortions. And then remember, we have to change the clothes also. Again, at that, the Photoshop AI tools are not good. Then your last option is to obviously go for manual editing inside Photoshop, which can obviously take a lot of time and effort. So that's why if we go back to something like Grok, which you can access by going over to x.com. If you ever had a Twitter account before, it's the same thing. Just log in with your account. This is completely free to use. You'll see this uh, menu here. Just select Grok from there and you'll see this come up here. And this is where, this is an all-in-one kind of an app. You can use it like chat GPT if you want by asking it anything. You can attach files and do all these things, but you can see here that we've also got the edit image option. That means anything that you attach here can also be edited and that's exactly what we are interested in. So right now what we're gonna do is we are basically going to upload that image here. Now that the image is here, we can just paste the prompt that we were using back in Gemini, change the background color to pink and all you have to do is just run this and let's wait for the results. All right, so you get two results and you can see both of them are almost ready. And if right now, let's say I just open up this particular image, this time notice the hair strands. This is absolutely real. This is as good as going back to Photoshop if you really had the skill and the time to make a good selection in the select and mask interface, create a good selection, then change the background. All that has been done simply by writing one line. And that is pretty amazing. And just like Gemini, the good part about Grok is that it doesn't really change the outline or the shape of the subject. Things within that might change. Yes, there's a slight 
uh, difference in the face. That's not a problem. As long as the outlines are the same, we can always mask things out later on in and get back the original face. And as you can see in front of you, we are using a portrait image and it did not stop us from editing it. There was no restriction of any sort. Now remember, our second task here is to change the clothes. So whichever image we like, let's say we like this particular image, then we can just hover over that, click on the edit button, and then we can type in anything here. So this time to change the clothes, let's give it a new prompt. So here's the prompt, change the jacket to a pink suit and a black tee, and then we can just hit this button and let's wait for the results here. All right, so the new results are also ready and you can again see that this looks absolutely amazing. Very, very real, maintains the body shape. Just a bit of the face again has changed. So again, the same principles apply with these AI image editors. The more you edit, you can expect some changes to crop in. But the best part is now that we are happy with this result. So let's say I think this result definitely looks better because the body shape is uh, similar. Then we can hit download. And for the final step, what we can do is we can just go over to let's say something like Photo P, which is like a replica of Photoshop so that you can carry out these steps completely for free. What we are gonna do is once you are over at Photo P or you can use Photoshop if you have, we are gonna open both this image that we just downloaded from Grok, as well as the very original image, we're gonna superimpose them and just mask out the face. So let's do that. All right, so we have both these images open up inside Photopea in separate tabs. What we can now do is we can take the new image, just make sure you use the move tool and we can just place this on top. Ideally, you should be doing this kind of a thing by using layer masking, but right now I'm just gonna keep things simple. So what we can do is, once you've made sure they are right on top of each other, we can just take the good old eraser tool, make sure the hardness of this uh, erasing brush is set to a low value so that you don't see the edges properly. And you can just, on the top image, you can just run this on the face and maybe just like a bit on the neck right now, I'm just being a bit rough, but this will be the practice. So now if I just hide this, you can see we've got the face from the original image, but the rest of the stuff is from Grok. So we get the best of both the worlds. Now, one thing with the Grok images, just like most of the other AI editors out there is that the image quality that it gives out, it has a bit of grains and, amount, and some amount of uh, pixelation. So the final step of course, will be to export this image and to upscale it. So let's do that. All right, so I exported the image and to upscale it finally, I'm just gonna be using a free AI upscaler, which is iloveimg.com. The link is in the description. And let's upload the image here. And you can see that the result is ready and you can see the upscale image just looks much better, especially on these areas, on the clothes, you could see that the image from Grok had a lot of grains, but right now everything just looks nice and sharp. And we also retained the original face. So there's no doubt that now the all new Gemini AI image editor definitely has a strong competitor in the form of Grok AI image editor. Which one of these is gonna outdo the other? We still have a lot of experiments to do when it comes to portraits, just by the very fact that there are no content restriction policies around Grok, I think this is definitely the winner. But if you wanna follow along all these experiments where I'm comparing and seeing all the upcoming AI tools, then make sure you subscribe. And in case this video helped you out, do not forget to give it a like, and I will see you next time.